Uh, good afternoon, Ms. Raya. I mean, Ms. Raya, you are muted. Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. How do you do? Um, At your lunch? Uh, yeah, so, but today, actually, uh, I'm not very well. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Hopefully. But uh, still can work. All right, hopefully later on, yeah, we were trying to make it on time. Then, yeah, then we can end on time as well. Sure, no problem. Uh, can you hear me clearly without the yes. mic, without yes. the background? Yeah, 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 very clear. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you are in our office now? Uh, no, I work from home today. Ah, uh, I see. I'm, uh, not feeling well. Uh, and do you have any guidelines for today's clip? Uh, yeah, uh, later on, uh, Dr. Izura will brief you, okay, before the um, student's presentation starts uh, about the project. Lah. So for today, we have uh, second year students. It's around, I think, 70 of us, but we, um, we are divided into work base, which means that we have five groups. So one group going to present one scheme to you. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, each of them are going to spend yeah. around 10 minutes. Hi, Dr. Izura. Hi. Hi, yeah. Izura. So, yeah, Dr. Izura is our second year's coordinator, and in the same time, she will coordinate the sessions uh, later on. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, am I early? Early today, or just nice? Just nice. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually, before the session start, we were like um having a a brief or chit chat. Yeah, to understand about the whole how how's the whole. Uh, flows of the um programs. Sure. Okay. So today is quite straightforward, I think. Um it's more on the uh students' presentation. After that we hope to get your technical inputs, your professional experts input uh to advise the students. Because after that we hope some we manage to like send in the uh proposal to Lizac. Okay, um yeah, so hopefully see whether we can work together um uh, for this um the community engagement project. Yeah. Sure, sure. All right. Okay. We still I think we are waiting for our Pangara, Dr. Alice. So she's going to deliver the welcoming um uh remarks for our program. Yeah, for these two days. Then after that, um I think we can start off lah. Or maybe Dr. Izura, yeah, we can swap. We can, uh, while we are waiting for Dr. Ellis, maybe we can uh, brief Madam Suraya about the project first. Yep, sure, sure. Let me uh, hold on there. Yeah. Okay, sure, sure. So, Madam, maybe we go like Keisha. Mm -hmm. We go, go for Keisha style uh, for our sessions. All right. Right. Um. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um. So this is going to be a very um short brief actually, uh, Madam Suraya. So um the project is actually part of our uh, design studio activities. Um. I think Dr. P C already explained that uh, to you just now, and uh each group is led by one um respective lecturers, uh, which is Dr. P C itself. Um, Dr. Izad, Dr. Tengku Intan Suraya, uh, Dr. Doris, and also me. Okay, and um, this in this project, um, students are required to design an um, outdoor exhibition display, and basically they are required to uh, consider live stack material as the main materials uh, used in their proposals. So um, the site is located at Marina Walk, uh, Putri Harbour, Johor. Um, it is a uh, uh, waterfront uh, development developed by uh, UEM Sunrise Berhad, which is highlighted in red here. And um, you can see it uh, from the picture on the right hand side, uh, which is this part, the one that have a lot of uh, big trees. So it is actually a long uh, marina walk there. And, um, and it also has this um, spacious paved walkway uh, with all the big trees that I mentioned just now. 
um, and also some shops and sittings uh, for the users to enjoy along this marina walk. So uh, basically the students are free to propose the location of their outdoor exhibition display um, along this marina walk. Um, it's just a basically it's just a, a small project um, for the students to work out. And um, this is basic the basic form given to the students um, as their reference. And one of the requirement of this outdoor exhibition display um, is that it should be easy to assemble and disassemble for future use. And um, on top of that, um, we also uh, shared this standard dimension of um, exhibition display with the students as reference. So they are free to uh, basically explore and experiment uh, with the design within the size given here. And um, as long as the display does not exceed um, the size of 2050 uh, millimeter height and uh, 2400 millimeter width, um, it should be okay. And as part of the outcome of their proposal, they also have to produce working drawings or detailed drawings in order to explain the ideas and materials selection. Um, yeah, and then uh, we also provide some of the links from uh, LiSAT Asian uh, website for them to refer to all the materials that um, are available in LISAC. Um, and also we also share the YouTube link, um, uh, which is during our webinar last time. Um, and then, yeah, I think um, that's all about the brief, Madam Suraya. Um, is there anything that uh, you would like me to explain further or you want to ask anything? Mm, you know. Uh, just in terms of um, I uh the, the uh, do you have any guidelines uh or just I uh create based on their presentation? Yeah, basically um um they will present and then uh you just create based on their presentation uh, and probably right. it is hope that uh, you can advise on the material selection that they propose because uh, um most of the materials or their main materials of the project is. Um, selected from LISAC. Okay, sure. Right. right. Okay. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, our our directors of architecture program, Dr. Alice, is here. Hi, Dr. Alice. Good afternoon. And we have Madam Suraya and our moderator for today, uh, Dr. Izura, and we have uh, Dr. Uh, Izad. Yeah, one of the world best master. Yeah, is here, and we have Dr. Doris as well. Okay, and Dr. Tengku Intan. Okay, and all the students. Okay, so I think that uh, it's two o'clock now. Probably um, I will hand over to Dr. Izura to initiate the uh, events. Yeah. Okay, Dr. Izura, over to you. All right. Thank you, Dr. PC. Okay. Um, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and a very good day to everyone attending um, this industry um, technical engagement 2022 uh, session between architecture program UTM and NS uh, Blue Scope Lysac Malaysia. So uh, my name is Nur Izura Tukiman. I am the Year 2 Design Coordinator. And today, um, on behalf of the Program of Architecture UTM, I would like to extend my warm welcome to our respective panel, Madam Suraya Johari, the Technical and Design Manager and S. Blue Scope Lysac Malaysia, um, Associate Professor Dr. Ali Sabrina Ismail, the Director of Architecture Program UTM, all the lecturers and uh, students. And uh, today we are going to have uh, five presentations by the year two architecture students uh, presenting their proposal, design proposals, which um, initially students were given a project brief uh, for them to work in a group and um, uh, they were asked to design an outdoor exhibition displays um, uh, like um, what have been um, uh, presented to you just now, Madam Suraya. And in this project, um, they are required to use the Blue Scope Lysac product as the main materials of their proposals. So, um, and um, to the students, please be informed that the time allocated for each presentation is about 10 minutes maximum. And then uh, it will be followed by uh, another 10 minutes uh, question and answer session with Madam Suraya, okay? All right, um, before we proceed further, I would like to invite um, Associate Professor Dr. Alice to give her welcoming remarks. 
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you so much uh, moderator Dr. Izura. Firstly, I would like to bid a warm welcome. Selamat datang. Thank you so much to Madam Suraya from Lysat Blue Scope <laughs> for attending our second session, I think. Because the first session that we had was, was actually a discussion on the collaboration uh, with Lysat. But today is that uh, we hope that Lysat will actually give an input to our students' design. Uh, in terms of how to use Lysat Blue Scope material so that students will have the abilities not only design but also apply it in real life situation. So most of the design projects that the student did is actually based on the concept of studio as a living lab where we called it uh, the students has to do a real life project and also get involved with industry to get to know the expertise from the industry much better. So this is actually a very good opportunity uh, between UTM Architecture School and with Lysat Blue Scope. So I hope that this kind of event will be not only be the first, but will be many, many more to come in the future. And this will actually be a kickoff start for this program to venture more detail with Lysat after this, not only in terms of designing projects, but also in other fields like signing MOUs, collaboration, uh, research, and so many, many more in the future. So I won't say much because I know time is very short on your side, uh, Madam Suraya. So I wish everyone today the very best, especially to the second year students. You did well, you did great for your project. So now is the time to present to your client and the client is Madam Suraya and she will give the judgment in terms of your design work. So with that, thank you so much again, Madam Suraya. So I hope I can see you in real life person after this, not in the Webex, but in a real life person. So thank you so much to Madam Suraya and all the team from Blue Scope Lysat for accepting our invitation for today's event. Thank you so much. Thanks again. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Right. Um, thank you, Dr. Ellis, for the welcoming remarks. So I think um, without further ado, I shall invite our first presenter from uh, group number one, um, Dola and friends. Are you ready? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. I uh, can you see my screen. <coughs> yes, very clear. All right. Okay, assalamualaikum to uh, Puan Suraya and lecturers. Uh, so, uh, for our uh, for our work based design, uh, it's called uh, flag flag style, uh, which is uh, the aim f uh, for this um, display design is uh, to create a interactive display. Uh, aims for an experience of interaction between the user and the exhibition and the user can be seemingly attracted toward the exhibition when they see other other play around uh, when they see others uh, play around with the panels uh, so um, let's um, for example um, in um, human behavior uh, if they if they uh, see a ordinary display they usually just scan it and then just ignore it so uh, my aim is uh, to to let the users to interact uh, with the display and let them observe the display uh, observe the display better okay um, so the design is very modular uh, so that it easily the design very flexible so there's a variety of arrangement. Um, so this is the arrange, uh, arrangement one, arrangement two, and ar arrangement three. So the design is by unit. So you can mix and match it so that you can make a variety of design. Okay, so there's a variety of display setting. Uh, so the first design, which is one, one, uh, one display second design two display and the third design is four display okay for the construction process uh, so the, the every unit is uh, every uh, already assembled uh, at the factory so uh, you can bring the every unit every display uh, bring to the side by by module and then arrange and joint it inside 
and then it's ready ready to display so just very straightforward uh, construction uh, so this is uh, the components uh, that uh, it has a uh, weather visor and it also r rotatable uh, the reason uh, as I said earlier uh, the goal is to in, uh, let the user to interact with this uh, display so by uh, by created uh, as a rotatable display uh, it hopes to let the user to interact and yeah, interact more with the display um, next uh, for the construction I let my friend Rashid to present Rashid hello can you hear me yes okay for the construction uh the, the thickness of each panel is basically about two feet uh that the rotating panel so there are can you go to the exploded structure Dola? so there are two types of connector that holding to the uh panel between uh the the the, the, the middle panel and the the side panel so the upper upper parts of the yeah. Uh, you can see that the most up ups uh, is the custom C channel for the uh, that 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 will hold the structure uh, from that to the to its partner. Uh, so that is the the it it just being assembled using bolt and nut from the structure to the uh, we call it as uh, the the kawan dia at, at the side and then uh that uh you, we can see that there are flange bearing still which is still flange bearing at the that hold the rotating panel because still flange bearing is one of the uh bearing that can hold the structure because it is light light enough and then uh there are aluminum sheet that being welded to the upper component that hold the, the frames and then uh for the for the accessory purpose we choose paracord rope it is uh about 4 mm in terms of the thickness and then uh we assemble it using screw uh to the we screw it to the structure of the uh panel so the structure we we build it using uh aluminum C channel from Lysac and then uh, we make a frame uh, through it uh, the frame will be around uh, around two meters to 600 meters because of uh, the the wide of the the panel is two feet that I, I mentioned earlier and then uh, there are fastener that will uh, hold the structure the fastener is uh, there are X X verge that will uh be the frame that uh will be the background of the uh, exhibition display. So uh that X verge will be used by a fastener to hold it, and then uh we use perspex at around two uh three mm uh thickness uh that, that will avoid the water from uh, coming into the display uh into the exhibition and for the perspex we choose to have a uh, aluminium modular sign support screw uh if you search to the uh, internet you can uh, actually get the name uh the, the name is exactly at uh, what we type, type there uh, it actually uh, we can see it in any common glasses uh, or perspex exhibition and then uh, there are shaft that being hold the whole frame the shaft being welded to the main uh, road so that uh, it will uh, the, the 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 mass of the, uh, the structure will be put into the shaft uh, and the bearing uh, will be sit on top of the shaft and then there are the in terms of the leg we choose steel footing uh, the steel footing will be custom and it will have screw uh, so the road have shaft and screw at the bottom uh, to to screw it to directly to the uh, foot. So uh, when we have this one panel, uh, we can just arrange it uh, another panel beside 
and we can have also extra structure uh, for the seating uh, because normally people will attract not just because of the exhibition so they if they can see that they are sitting there they will go there and then uh, the, the seating is also made, uh, act as attraction and it play the same language in terms of the exhibition panel where it used the same C channel for the structure framing and it used uh, rope, paracord rope uh, as the, uh, we, 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 main the uh, we maintain the identity. Uh, can you go to the display locking system, Dola? Uh, at the downside. Uh. The bigger bullet and yeah display so uh how we lock it when the it go rotation uh there uh, there are a bit of like a stopper for them to to, to sit on a, another and then they will stop rotating so they they will rotate like a hundred and eighty degree less uh and then yeah they stop rotating or oh, but <laughs> the panel must be that uh i mean that is how they intersect together. Uh, I think that's all for me. Thank you. Um, can I play a very short video for for the panels to under, uh, understand better the design? Sure, sure. Okay, I think that's all from us. Thank you. Right, thank you very much, um, Abdullah, Rashid, and um, the team. Um, may I invite um, Madam Suraya to give some feedbacks or comments? Right, uh, so far, uh, good presentation. <clears throat> right, uh, but uh, can I know uh, what is what uh, your group trying to? Uh, to solve here? Do you have any, uh, uh, any problem that you, you you want to solve from your uh, mind? In terms of construction, is it? Uh, no, your concept. Uh, I, I, I believe from the background that the, the background of this research is to provide uh, some um, facilities Okay, uh, to the uh, to the users, right? Uh huh. Okay. So, uh, so are you trying to add more uh, facilities? For example, uh, you can see here you can sit there and do mm -hmm. your works, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. it, it just of uh, your design it just for uh, to add some features uh some hardscape to the environment here or to try solve any problems at this location um i don't think um we're trying to solve uh, solve any problem of, of this uh, of this location okay. but example, we just kan, for example uh -huh. uh, mungkin tak cukup tempat duduk ke ataupun kat situ panas ataupun you try to provide some shelter dan kat sana banyak pokok mungkin orang boleh duduk sementara hujan ke ada tak you fikir on those kind of facilities ataupun kemudahan untuk orang lalu lalang duduk dekat situ um actually uh, uh, in terms of uh, seating semua tu uh, semua dah uh, cukup provided dekat situ and then so kita just nak um at, uh, tempat ni just untuk untuk advertise something untuk users dekat sana and and in terms of design uh, ialah untuk um, menarik orang untuk untuk attract orang untuk tengok kita main display instead of just tengok dari jauh so kita nak dia datang dekat so untuk untuk uh, apalah untuk 
Uh, apa ni agak untuk, okay. uh, so, untuk connect lah orang uh, dengan tempat yes, uh. uh. okay 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 ah uh, okay with that just um okay here you have two focus point actually kan one is the bench itself because your tajuk is bench design right and then you have your display mm -hmm. all right so um, my concern as a blue scope like that actually mm. in terms of safety lah mm. okay safety mm. uh, and then how to maintain your product your design okay you have a lot of mechanical you have a few few part that you have to connect right for your rotation thingy right have you thought about how to maintain it because you have a lot of a lot of trees nanti dengan dia punya daun-daun stuck dekat you punya rotation rotation tu uh, how you are going to solve that um i think uh, kalau concern tentang ada benda tersangkut dekat um, dia punya bearing tu uh, rasanya tak ada tak ada problem sebab um, kita ada visor and to protect barang-barang uh, daripada tersangkut daripada contoh daun Uh, mm -hmm. untuk tersumbat dalam ni uh, so tak ada tak ada masalah sebab ada benda yang akan hadang dia so daripada segi mungkin faktor cuaca mungkin uh, kita akan coating dulu uh, besi ni supaya mengelakkan daripada uh, easy uh, senang untuk ras um, and other than that rasanya tak ada kot concern yang lain add on ah uh, sure Uh, about the kalau hujan yeah. in terms of uh, selain hujan uh, daun-daun tu uh, kita ada perspek yang quite big because the perspek is not for the small panel it also uh, shielding the paracord so kalau nak tukar pattern paracord tu kena buka everything lah uh, so so uh, it also acts as uh, uh, protection to uh, air percikan air lah percikan air and then uh, for winds kalau kalau dari segi macam daun-daun tu dia insyaAllah tak, tak ada apa uh, Kalau maintenance dari segi flange bearing Flange bearing uh, they need uh, grease uh, and then it can uh, stand for a year uh, Lebih kurang macam tu lah uh, Tak grease sekali uh, tu je lah nanti dia boleh still pusing Fine Alright uh, Okay uh... And then, uh, how long ya? Eh? I do masa sebenarnya for Q&A? Sorry? About um, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Yeah. About 10 minutes, all right. <laughs> okay, uh, sorry. Uh, just, okay, since you have a very nice design, kan, on the punya roof tu, why not add on meaningful features? Okay, so macam tadi I tanya, you check up, it's just for attraction purpose. So since you dah ada bumbung tu, why not you extend a bit so that people when hujan, you you are rushing eh tadi, uh, talking about kalau hujan. So why not besarkan sikit your bench on the roof top so that people when they are sitting there, they boleh berteduh ke or else uh, mungkin you have flat roof here maybe you can add some solar and press green uh, green uh, green concept uh, sebenarnya your design ni banyak benda yang you boleh add on okay so uh, and uh, for your info our materials uh, we can provide until 50 years punya warranty material tak tak karat Uh, so don't worry about that karat lah uh, in terms and then uh, and sebab I tengok tadi your background of that area tak ada shelter semua bench uh, exposed bench okay so uh, you boleh uh, tambah sikit kot uh, your design ni and then apa lagi ya Uh, uh, how you not overcome the vandalism problem there? Eh? 
Sebab design dah cantik dah. Boleh pusing-pusing. So you have your kids there dekat you punya design concept sana. Ada kids yang akan for sure they, they love to touch it. And they, because of it can be rotated, it's a, a rotation basis kan? So every, everyone would love to touch, pegang. So do, do you have, do, do you consider about the vandalism protection? Um, um, untuk uh, in terms of uh, display, uh, for protection untuk display ialah uh, the perspec, uh, apa lah, um, perspec glass. Uh, so in terms of untuk risau uh, the the bearing akan rosak ke apa rasanya um, bearing tu memang tahan tahan kuat so tak adalah macam orang pusing kuat sikit dia akan rosak so uh, tak adalah macam tu so bila orang orang kasar sikit pun dia still tahan rasak lah very durable lah lagi uh... Uh, when you are talking about durability Mm -hmm. Have you study how long? Because every products, every uh, every products uh, manufacturer, they have their durability lifespan. Oh, um, um, uh, macam yang Rashid kata, um, sekurang kurangnya satu tahun dia punya ketahanan, sekurang kurangnya. So, um, benda ni kalau rosak pun, um. Dia pun very modular. So, kalau rosak satu, let's say sini satu rosak. So, they can easily disassemble and letak yang baru. And replace it lah. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay, I think it's still from me. In terms of construction, in mm -hmm. terms of how we are going to construct it, uh, in terms of the materials, uh, mm -hmm. basically you have all the, the basic. How to connect it? Uh, I like it. You have that idea, all right? Uh, so technicality is there, and uh, of course uh, there's a lot of uh to fine tune it. Uh, with I think if you need, really need to develop this, we we will have another uh, detail uh session lah for for this idea. Right, that's it from me. Okay, thank you, Puan Suraya. Thank you, Puan Suraya. All right. Thank you very much, Madam Suraya. Um, I think it's, it's a very useful uh, comment for the students and hopefully the students will take note on all the aspects that has been highlighted uh, for you to develop further your design. Okay. All right. Um, shall we move to the second group um, from Workbase um, Dr. Tanku Intan? Okay, uh, Assalamualaikum. Can everybody hear? Yes, very clear. Okay. <laughs> so, um, can I start now? Can. Okay. Yeah. So, um, Assalamualaikum and a very good afternoon. I bid to everyone, the lecturers, and also our panel from LISAT. My name is Muhammad Najim bin Muhammad Sabri, and I'll be presenting about my work basis uh, design. So, the design is called uh, the puzzle. Uh, why is it called the puzzle? Um, we will um, look further into that by uh, after this. So, um, first up, we have the location. So, based on the brief given, uh, the proposed site location is located in Pochi Harbour, which is along the Marina Walk, along the sea. And it is a prestigious waterfront development by UEM Sunrise Berhad. Uh, so, this location is a hub for everyone to play, dine, uh, explore, stay, and whatnot, enjoy the views and whatnot, where there are a lot of commercial and also uh, residential areas surrounding it. Okay, so uh, moving on will be the issues and also solutions on how to uh, counter those issues. The first one will be safety issues, which is proposed uh, we, uh, as the proposed site is like crowded with people. That's the first one. The second one is there are no user friendly seatings as um, the, the only seating area would be limited to only on the uh, benches and also the side of the pier, which would be dangerous. And the third one would be bad odors caused by trash that has been thrown around, uh, which have been neglected. Uh, 
So uh, the solutions for those three are like um, for uh, the first one is uh, design of outdoor exhibition panels must be in a safe condition so that um, it will not actually cause harm to other people. The second one would be designing a seater for multiple people to sit and also relax around the marina walk. And the third one will be placing like planter boxes on the design in order to give uh, fresh air and also to give uh, some sort of uh, sustainability design towards the uh, puzzle. So for our design concept, um, we have um, we take into account that the Iskandar Putri itself is kind of like a big main board for a puzzle, which is like an empty uh, puzzle where you need to like solve it. You know those like uh, puzzle games, right? And the and the Putri Harbour is like the main development, like the big puzzle um, for the uh, board itself. And the other small pieces will be joined together by uh, other like associations or maybe organizations such as uh, UEM, maybe uh, facilities like uh, trees and surroundings and such. And then all of this will be uh, completed and also will be merged together in order to create one big uh, puzzle, which is the Puchi Hapo itself. And then moving on will be our was it the ah yes the uh, design process and uh, um bawa bawa kali yang apa dia the yang key tu key 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 bukan bawa yang bagian tengah ah yang, yang lighting frame design tu ah yes okay so uh moving on will be our special uh, elements which we have the uh, slot in idea connections for the puzzles itself which will be be done by using light set materials, the sustainable design, which is the planter boxes, and also the third one will be a lighting frame design, which will illuminate the display area in order to create a lighting effect and also make uh, other people be attracted to read it. And then uh, moving on will be the design design process. So um, the word uh, we taken the design process uh, from the uh, sentence of Marina Walk, uh, where um uh, we will play with perspective where one from one view we can um read out uh, marina and also from the, another view we can read out walk so um that can be played around as like perspective and also like a, a thing to attract people towards our design so um, we first take in the letter of m and make it um, easy enough to construct where we deal a, a bit uh, blocky and also um yeah make it easy to construct and then uh, we change it into uh, the uh, where we applied some of the elements that we have identified before, making making it a bit uh, uh, easier to read from like the uh, one perspective. And then after that, we change the uh, base shape into like puzzle panels, so that it will be the main concept for the project. And then moving on will be the perspective renders and also uh, explore the exonometrics um, in order to see like in detail of how we construct it where the seating design will be at the base with the uh, OLED screen frames on the side of the uh, design in order to not actually um, block out the, letter of, uh, the letters of the M, the A's and such. And then there's uh, the curved puzzle panels in order to create that, uh, in order to have that a safety uh, issue being resolved. And also the planter boxes, which we put on top of the curved puzzle panels. And then moving on would be the, ah oh yeah, how it works. So basically, um, like I said before, the planter boxes will act as the sustainable design and the design seat will be combined directly into the design in order to help the public to take a rest and uh, while also can read the display over on the over on the left the right and such and then the puzzle panels will be the main shape of the uh, the main shape of the puzzle panels will be curved in order for a safety issue and the lighting will provide a good lighting and such so moving on will be the second board which will be our drawing Uh, so you can see from the uh, plan view, the elevations. Um, uh, so you can see on the front elevation that you can uh, uh, distinctly see the letter of the M. So uh, we try to uh, do that for the other letters, the A and the R's and such, where you can also see another, uh, like the walk on the right side of the uh, design itself. And then after that would be the uh, details. 
So for details, we um, uh, put two, the OLED panels, um, the, uh, the frame details, where we will be using more on wood and also the Lysat materials where uh, we're using the smart trusses. Um, and then there will be wiring and such, and then there's also screws and all. And after that, there will be the puzzle panels where we will use the uh, wood in the middle of the panel and also the Lysat X bridges. And then it will all be uh, put together by screws. And then uh, if we like a slot in, um, during the slot in, there will be the buckets as well in order to uh, not make it fall apart easily. So next up will be our uh, video of how this design was actually done from beginning to end. Enjoy. Okay, so um, that's all for the video. Thank you. Right. Um, thank you, Daniel and um, team members um, for the presentation, animation, and also the models that you did. Uh, uh, Madam Suraya, would you like to give some feedbacks uh, to them? Right. Uh, good animation, uh, but it would be nice if you have sound. Okay. Uh, yeah, the video has uh, supposed to have some, but then uh, probably okay, some technical right. difficulties. I'm sorry. All right, no problem. All right, so uh, can can you define what is bench? Uh, define what is bench. Yes. Uh, a bench, right? Uh, yeah, sitting area. Yeah. So, uh, a bench is uh, a place to sit and rest while also not giving inconvenience to the user. All right. Okay. It's for seat. It's a huh? seat. Basically, it's a seat. Yeah, it's a seat, basically. <laughs> All right. Uh, so can you go back to your problem statement, Islam? Problem statement. The, the issues here, yeah. Safety issues, no user friendly sitting. Okay, da, okay. Um, uh, so, sorry, Madam Suraya. Yep. Um, actually, our project for year two is the outdoor exhibition display. So basically, oh. they are designing the display. 
Uh, but then yang bench tu is actually another group punya project oh, which is tomorrow. Right. Uh. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. Sebab the way uh, I dibagi the link tu, looks like macam today is about bench. I see. Ah, no, it's so not. It's actually my, my the display. My actually on bench. I see. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, okay. So, it's about display. Okay. Sebab I nampak pun macam uh, if relate to bench tadi, uh, you have even the, the first group pun cerita pasal display. Right, so I oh I lah yang salah rupanya. Sorry, okay. Okay, Madam Sraya. Uh, yeah, I would be appreciate lah because uh, we appreciate that you as an expert can. Uh, if you able to like give the students some uh, ideas, okay, from your points of view can as a light can uh, in terms of like the beautifulities uh, of of the works and maybe you as the um like the stakeholders, what do you think about this product? Is it doable or not? So maybe I think that will be some things that uh, you can try to share with the students uh, regarding to your opinions from, from the expert points of view. Yeah. So, sure, sure. Yeah, thanks. All right. Uh, okay, uh, okay, okay, you can uh, move forward uh, because uh, I will drop the question about bench. Yeah, okay, even though you have uh you you include about bench also, okay. I will focus on the display this display item. Okay, and uh, uh I I want to know how you are going to construct this. Okay, the material that they are using for planter box. Okay, you have a planter box and then you have your seating, you have display. All right. Uh, so why you are choosing all these materials? The main factors of affecting your materials. Are you saying something? Uh, yeah, um, that point will be uh, given by one of my uh, team members, uh, Balkis. Uh, why we uh, why we choose the uh, material um kembang semak wood because. Uh, it is the uh, uh have the density uh, uh for the wood and uh also uh it is uh easy to resow and cross cut uh cross cut despite its yearly reputation as a difficult timber to process and then um it has the um, natural durability so the timber is moderately durable under um exposed conditions. Uh, you you will be using for entire uh, design. Um yes yes um uh for the smart trusses that um we we show just now it is for the frame uh for the frame of the uh, of the OLED panel and okay. for the apa tu puzzle. All right. So, uh, you have wiring uh, embedded, right, here? Yes. Okay. Uh, from where you are going to get the power point, yeah? I'm sorry? Uh, power point. Because it's, uh, you have wiring here. Of course, you will uh, require power. Power oh, yeah. point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pro have you considered? And how you are going to tarik the, the power? Because this is exposed area. Right. Mm -mm. Mm. In terms of safety, how you are going to ensure that your wiring is uh, uh, working well when it's a raining day? Um, 
that one maybe we need to discuss oh. more further about that all right uh, so again my uh, my concern is about safety uh, so uh, good that you have idea to conceal okay to have this wiring uh, into this uh, c section okay it can be cover up but uh, in terms of maintenance in terms of facility, uh, the safety uh, one uh, during the days so that we are uh, we ensure that our the, the wiring won't trip uh, and also uh, if for maintenance how difficult to have this wiring to be maintained okay uh, and then uh, what kind of information yeah uh, you have all this small small panel what kind of information that you intend to have um is it uh, just just panels for decoration or you are going to have some information on it yeah, other than plant a box hello yeah okay all right so can i add on something sure sure all right actually our initial idea is we have two elevation this front elevation and back elevation we have the panel with the same color but different of the material of lysac blue scope materials mm. and at the right side and the left side we have another colors but also the different one different material of lysac like uh, lysac blue scope materials this one is the first suggestion that we already proposed like, and for the secondly we think that we can use the whole pieces of the lysac water hey, like say blue scope roof or walling panels and we cut wide by small pieces and we just slot in together yeah and our initial idea is we might we need want to propose the like say blue, uh, blue scope near products qualities uh, to public because they, I saw that the information that like scope materials is very high maintenance eh? very long long lasting so I we think that it is very possible to do to have some design like this one and very stay very last longer mm. uh, of course I could uh, I I I very um, the, the idea of display uh, the, uh, displaying our material is good but uh, again can it be like a resourceful informative panel other than about the product itself? Maybe you can add some information about Marina itself or history of Johor or, or something informative to that small panel. All right, madam. But the way we already propose, uh, I'm at here. And you can see with different, we have, and this one is one of the letters only. We have uh, another right. letter, so we've uh, proposed A, R, I, and a, yeah so we think we already have a uh, proposed something like marina so if uh, we propose like here banya is too much lah. so we just uh, propose easy so, um, easy and i mean uh on the panels you have a lot of panels here the, the small small panels yeah hmm. it's okay uh all right i think uh to me uh you have good design but if you can add some informative uh informative articles right other than our products it be uh meaningful more meaningful okay so uh, uh, uh the, the, the conclusion for this uh project for this uh second idea or presentation uh, please have a look on the safety on uh, in terms of the wiring just now uh, and also the informative things that you can develop into your design because your design is uh, to me uh, very good uh, 
very interesting right the thing is just uh for me if i go to this uh to to this park or to walk through this lane um, just I, I i need to to go further to see your letters so i can see if i stand about one feet from this from this uh display i can see this letter Okay, how you are going to uh, to tell the people that this is actually M, for example? Because of course I need to to step further away to see the overall letter. Okay. All right, madam. I think we can using the color to highlight out yet, right? Yes, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Madam, can I ask another question? Can for the display screen, can it is possible we are using the solar panels near display? Is it possible, or we we still need to think about how the wiring to connect? Ah, uh, the short lot. Even solar panel, uh, you need something. Uh, solar panel doable also. Yeah. I... What what for? For. We why, using... why you want that solar panel to be in this design? The when, so when you want to transfer the, 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 the power. <laughs> okay, you you collecting the the solar, yes. but what for? Are you trying to generate? Uh, are you trying to have some yeah, generate the energy for the display? Ah, yeah. uh, okay. Because the yeah. wiring is very susah like, for thinking for that <laughs> joining, yeah, right. Yeah, I, I, I'm not saying that it is um impossible to do it. Just you have to think on how to, uh, to, to properly protect it. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. All right. Thank you, madam. Bye. I think we still need a very further development. Sure, sure. Okay. Thank you, madam. Thank you, madam. Um. All right. Um. Thank you, students, and um. Thank you, madam Soraya. Okay. Um. Shall we move to the third one? Uh. Work base. Um. Doctor Lang Pao Chu. Okay. Okay. So, can you all see my screen? Yes. Okay, thank you, Dr. Izura. Okay, so a very good afternoon to Madam Suraya and all the lecturers and my fellow friends. So my name is Wen Xuan and today I'll be presenting our work base three uh, light box. So we will start from the background study. So why why we are creating and designing this light box is because uh we study from like the blueprint of the scandal Malaysia that actually uh like for the vision of twenty twenty five actually is actually uh having the vision of a workable and a safe and livable city design, and actually it also enhancing like creating a class environment to live, work, and live uh learn and play in. So moving on to that, uh, the site selection for this project uh, will be at the Putri Harbour, of course, and also uh, near to the Marina Walk. It's because Putri Harbour, as one of the gateway of the Iskandar Putri, is actually integrated with the waterfront development and it, a relaxing tourist hotspot to go for the public, especially the families uh, and with the children. So when the families are celebrating the night activities at the Putri Harbour, so the abstract visual LED lighting device the visit visitors and providing an interesting space to enhance the public engagement. So this is the main uh, intention of this slice box. So we also did uh, a very small site analysis why we are choosing this, um, uh, this location. Okay, so you can see from this a uh, very small location plan. So yeah, uh, we found out that um, 
actually the night density, I mean the human density at night is actually the highest in this marina walk. So we want to integrate and uh, the the activities at night and also once integrate with the surrounding the lighting there. So that's why uh, we are actually focusing on the lighting of on this project. Okay, so like uh, we found out that actually the pedestrian circulation on here uh, in uh, at the site here is very uh, high density and also the orientation of this light box is also actually uh, following the pedestrian circulation. according to the wind flow and and the pedestrian circulation. So it's actually near to the jetty here. So the design intent for this light box actually come from three main elements, which is the lightweight skeleton steel framing, so that we can ease the process of the installation and it is more portable to carry. The so secondly, we, we want to having a many presentation display panel to convey the message by visualization while promoting the public social. And third one is the LED neon light installation so that it can stand out during the night time and attract target group to stop by and appreciate um, the, the structure here. So what is the design concept? So the design concept is using a superimposing and interlocking cubes to create interactive space. So actually this exhibition booth it aims to garner the public attention during the night time where the LED frame light will be the highlight of this exhibition. Also not to mention that yeah, the, the human traffic density is the highest during the night. So concept of the modularity, it actually provides flexibility and create a diverse configuration. So means that um, actually this just our, our one module, which means actually is having a lot of possibilities and in future also. So it actually seems like uh, um, it's actually a bigger size compared, maybe compared to the others group. It's because uh, we are actually having a mainframe and actually they are having a lot of possibilities in creating like um, uh, a variety of, sh of shapes and the combination. So we are using the interlocking layout and the stacking effect so that yeah, it can create a lot of diverse configuration from there. So the exhibition is a modular structure, so it can make room for the future addition and installation. So with this modular structure, the exhibition actually can create a channel that acts as a gateway. So um, you can think that it's like some kind of a concept of a Lego. So when we stack up all the, I mean the cubes and the structure, actually it creates a gateway. The structure and while like uh, reading the information there. So looking, yeah, you can see for this four plan, you can see you can actually, the walkway is uh, about three meter. So it's actually why it's three meter is because you want to become, uh, the place is comfortable for the people uh, when we are having people standing uh, besides to uh, when they are reading the information, uh, the panel, so that it, it still has a space for the people to walk by. So you can see uh, besides the walkway, there will be interactive spaces, uh, which having our highlight also which the this interactive rotation panel. So I will be explaining furthermore in, in the poster. Okay, so um, so how is the manufacturing diagram? I mean, how, how can it be done? So firstly, in the aspect of the constructability, the light bulb is primarily using the steel structure uh, as fabricated using a large format CNC machine for easier assemble. And secondly, how it can be transported and the size So it can be transported using a large cargo truck and also it can be disassembled and transported quickly to the desired site. So how about the structure system? The structure single, this diagram shows the structure single um, line diagram. So it actually shows the load path for the load taken by the exterior structure framing. So you can see here, the load taken by the exterior frame is will be the wind load and the dead load. You can see um, um, for the uh, arrow here. So the vertical force is picked up by the system will be distributed through the structural framing to the ground. Okay, so the structural framing load transfer only vertical load and as this we have removed the horizontal load uh, from the wind force uh, on the state structure. So from the highest four corners of the center 
vertical portion of the frame will be the main point to support the vertical load from the exterior framing. Okay, so our structure will be four highlighted details. So first, uh, we are using the frame, steel frame, but we are using the Lysat Smart Trust. And, and connector with the bolt and nuts and we will refer to details air um, in the poster later and secondly will be the interactive rotation panel so be because of our initial idea will be uh, create an interesting space for the children and the people to enhance the public engagement so we are having this interactive rotating panel which um, yeah we will show you the details later so uh, we can see the information and they are inserted inside this acrylic panel and also it can and um, people can play around you know, like usually what uh, during our young time we play in the play playground. Yeah, so it actually creates a uh, interaction um, of the structure and the uh, people there. And thirdly, the focus will be the LED lighting strip, which uh, because you want to integrate well with like the surrounding, the LED there. So actually we also having a main highlight is the LED strip so that it can function and yeah, it will be a uh, very highlight at the night to attract the people to the structure to the structure suspension so how did we uh, connect with the structure um and yeah putting in the poster and the information inside the acrylic panel okay so this will be the cat drawing so you can see the south elevation west elevation and also the north and the east so you can see for these four different elevations, so you can see that actually we are aiming like for people can appreciate uh, no matter what direction it is, it actually creates a very interesting and a very different facade um, to, to, uh, from, all, from all the directions. But the main direction will be the, I mean, the orientation for the people walk through is the west and the east, which we put just walk through. And by the side, we'll, which is the south and the north is uh, playing with the interactive panels and that uh, people can stop by and appreciate the structure. Okay, this is the section shown. So we can see that, yeah, this is how the uh, rotating panel here and also the LED lighting, the placement of the LED lighting. Um, during afternoon or morning, so you can see our uh, people we we uh, specially made for the interaction uh, for the people interaction of the children and of the and the public also. So for the details showing for the details A will be the steel jointing details. So we are using the Lysa Smart Trust as the main structure. So for the connection, we are using the bolt and nuts and using uh, the connectors uh, and then um, connected with the steel bolt. You can see the details here. So there are a lot of um, different joint type of jointing, but still using the same type of connection with the bolt and nut and using the welded uh, connection. Okay, so second will be the pi private structure details, which is for the interactive protection panel. So this is the details. Um, yeah, we are using the 6mm acrylic uh, perspex uh, for the informative uh, poster inside. And yeah, it can be rotated uh, two sides. Okay. And then it is supported by a steel root tube. So this uh, overall diagram on actually how uh, it is not all the structure is having the LED, but um, I have, we have selected some of the portion that can link the uh, LED all together. And then and it will create like an interlocking um, effect and visual to the public. Okay, so you can see here, so how the LED will be placed, like actually we're having an idea to put in the LED strip uh, at the C channel and covering by a plastic uh, panel here. Yeah, some kind of like this. And yeah, so, and we were all connected and connected to a box, la, and then it will be hidden in a some way place to, for safety reason. Yeah. So the last details will be the acrylic poster holder. So um, how it is connected to the steel is one. Uh, yeah, we are using the cable suspension. This is the um, some of the details. I'm not okay. Yeah, this is the trusses. Um, yeah, and then um, the cable suspension. 
that holding the panel itself so that the information the information poster can be inserted uh, between this acrylic panel yeah i think that's all for our presentation thank you okay um thank you very much uh wen zuan uh, madam soraya would you like to give some feedbacks right uh, thank you so much. Uh, again, very good presentation. Uh, and you highlighted about low carbon society blueprint and so on. You address on it. Uh, okay. And uh, first thing that uh, I would like to uh, congratulate congratulate can congratulate. Uh, it's a good job in uh, presenting the. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, the load, the the load path, okay. You have the dead load and life load. How it being transferred, okay. Uh, maybe I miss out just now. Can you uh explain to me why you choose uh without roofing structure for your design? Roofing structure. Without roofing. Okay. Um. Right. Uh, no. No roof at all. Yeah. Okay. Firstly, uh, for my point of view, why we are having, uh, we are not having any roofing because actually this structure, our main intention is just to having a interactive spaces and yeah, we display book for the others. And actually, this is not our main, um, intention to like provide shading or provide shelter to the people. So actually, we just having the structure, um, as connected like a gateway. It's more like a structure to appreciate. And it creates like um a place to attract people to come. So, for the roofing, um, it is not our main intention la, to having the because like we actually is not providing like people we we not intention like people to sit inside and like having rest. But instead, we just people want to walk by. All right. So with uh our weather, mm -hmm. okay, we have. Hot sun, we have rainy days, all right. So you have a lot of things to display. You have you you need you have a lot of things to attract people to to be there, and and uh to browse through your informations. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you think uh people would like to go there with uh? Without any sheet. Mm. How how you are going to attract people? We we know that people people will feel uncomfortable with the hot sun, right? Mm -hmm, so yeah. how you attract people to go to your display display uh display area here and let them browse enjoy the information that you are uh providing here mm. put simple uh simple example when you are waiting for a bus mm -hmm. how long you can stand there to wait for your bus without shelter mm, understand okay maybe uh this is suggestion instead just at least you one uh the the purpose of the roofing is not only for shelter but also can be your uh uh additional maintenance uh protection uh you can add it uh because you have a lot of connection right yeah so maybe you can use this to minimize the maintenance uh maintenance requirement okay uh and then uh, now you are saying that uh, you have welding connection, right? Uh, which part that require welding connection, yeah? Because okay. most of our product uh, components, the the truss component, uh, the the roofing, uh, uh, the the thickness is only up to one point two, so. It's impossible to have a uh, welding connection. So I would like to know which part that you are going to use or uh, that you are going to apply welding connection. Welded connection. Welded connection. Mm -hmm. 
um, sorry, let me go through the details. Oh, but um, for yeah. the welder, I think is it necessary if we are having like the connectors for the steel? Is it necessary we need if we're having the bolt and nut? So it's not necessary to bolt. I mean to weld together, right? Uh, uh, that's why uh, uh your proposal. Okay, your welded connection. Uh, can I know what, which part of that welded connection? Oh, which part? Uh -huh. oh. So maybe at the ground. Okay, maybe if at the base plate, maybe might be. Mm -hmm. But if we can avoid, then avoid because base plate is connected to the, uh, to ground. Uh, it's the main connection to the ground, right? Yeah. So that side might be but i have to look your uh your main components main component your main components is actually cc channel as well right yeah yeah yes so if channel uh we uh we don't have that uh welded connection okay because uh the the welding uh the, the welding is not suitable for Thin's uh thin's wall plate. Oh, okay, understand. But a bolt and nut. Okay, when we are talking about bolt and nut, we are talking about the quite big of uh diameters. So when we are using C station only, we are normally we were using the self tapping screw with uh five mm, a very very small screw. Right, but for the for the uh for the bottom part that is connected to the ground, yes, you might need the uh, base plate and also bolt and nut. Oh, okay, okay. Well, actually, I can ask like, um, is it the sizing for the C channel? Because uh, I really I think we are confused and actually we can't um get a very precise like uh how many the dimension does the light is providing or it can be customized uh we have a standard dimension for c section uh the height can be 75 and 100 the thickness normally will go from uh for structure uh will from 0 0.75 1 mm and 1.2 only there's a three selection for the thickness uh -huh. But the, the height of C section is only 75 and 100. I see. All right. And the, the connection that you are uh, creating now, mm -hmm. uh, you have that idea how to connect in between the junction and everything, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So maybe we can have another discussion uh, to have simplified connection rather than. Uh -huh. uh, Simplify connection. All right. And also the spacing of your star, the spacing of your uh, vertical members, so on. Mm. Uh, again, uh, my general comment would be how you, again, one point, because this is public space, this is open to everyone. Again, what is your preventive on the vandalism and on the safety part, right? So I guess you need to improve on that as well. Huh? All right. Thank you, madam. Uh, and for acrylic materials, for, uh, we use acrylic as well, a lot. Uh, and uh, we found that acrylic uh, tend to be faded earlier. So how you are going to overcome this? Uh, for the acrylic panel, is it? Yeah. Um, the the one that we have uh -huh. is actually indoor. Even oh, indoor, all right. Easily faded about. We can see the sign of uh fade about one or two years. We already can see, and it affects uh the, the material inside the acrylic in between the acrylic so because we we send uh, we sandwich our pen our samples mm -hmm. okay 
and we can see uh, discoloration on on the pet on the panel itself. So should we consider another materials or is having like ways of prevention for that? Uh, or having a covering? <laughs> <laughs> Might be. Uh, oh, okay. It's not that I'm saying acrylate is not suitable, but uh -huh. maybe you can find uh, the uh, how to protect what is the maintenance pro, uh, maintenance uh, uh, factor that you need to apply on onto the acrylics if you are using acrylic. Mm, I see. Okay. Okay. Ah, mm. uh, one more thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, have you again? This is for everyone, right? Uh, have you thought about how you are how you are going to address for uh disability, the okay use, how you oh. how they can enjoy your display maybe sound maybe yeah. audio okay maybe anything that they can touch mm -hmm. and uh when they touch because when you are using all this panel it's quite sharp at the edges mm -hmm. uh, how you are going to protect that how you are going to protect the, the the children's when they attach it okay uh, to 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 avoid any injuries okay kids that they, they like to touch yeah uh, because your your design all about very sharp edges mm. okay in terms of uh okay if you are using uh our panels again if we have protection. Uh, I mean, uh, we can last up to 50 years. It depends on the product. Uh, in fact, uh, C channel as well. Uh, we can offer up to 50 years in terms of the durability mm -hmm. um, towards corrosion. All right. Noted for that. Okay, let's see. Maybe. Yeah. Um. Sorry, but before ending my presentation, can I just invite uh some of my members to add on some of the issue here? All right. Sure. Okay. So anyone? Hey, madam. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Uh, I would like to explain about the welded part now. Hmm. Actually, the welded part is only at the uh the jointing the connector so the the main structure which is the smart truss uh it just slot it is just like slot into the rectangular hollow section yeah and secure with the bow and nut yeah i think that's all from me oh okay so you are building a, a connection you're constructing a connection there. Mm -hmm. Well, the three way steel, rectangular. Wow. Yes. You're using hollow? <laughs> rectangular. Um, because initially, actually, we are thinking of the materials of laser materials of the firm log, but yeah, we heard that it's not available in Malaysia, so we just changed into, um, yeah, this C channel materials. Okay, good idea to have this uh, consider socket to all the junction. Okay, uh, good. Uh, but if we have uh simplified connection mm -hmm. so i think we can avoid the unnecessary work for example to have a new socket for this connection but uh honestly this is very good idea because you are solving the connection problems here yeah right? okay thank you madam Uh, 
Any other questions from your group, Wenzuan? Oh, uh, yeah. Any um others? Uh, just uh, uh, one one more. Just uh, want to ask like, uh, actually, what is the maximum spend for the length if uh we are using the um yeah this uh like that materials for the smart trust. Like, is it possible to yeah for this like three meter, and yeah, where is it? Oh, sorry, here. Not possible. Not possible. You mean so that you have increased. Decrease the length. Decrease the length, or you provide internal uh internal support. For example, maybe you can add on, uh the vertical members in between. Vertical members. Mm. So that vertical members can be part uh part of your display unit later for your the rotation actually. Mm -hmm. So uh actually is around where is the maximum like for the span. Uh, uh, I will provide you the table on what oh. is the maximum depending okay. on the span and the height. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, and the area, uh, because this is somewhere that the quite high wind. Yeah, uh, it is exposed area, right? So I will provide that detail. All right, can thank you, madam. Because different uh different thickness, different C channel, it contribute different strength. All right. Um, sorry, can you can anyone hear me? Yes. Yeah. Please. Yeah, madam, okay. I have one more question to ask. Um, is there any recommendation or like suggestion for in terms of the sharp corners? Is there any connector to like uh, which is rounded one to connect all of the C channels together? Buy from Ikea la. <laughs> yeah, <solution>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, it's right. better. Uh, just use the whatever we have, right? The yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. The Ikea one is the more, most practical way. Mm, use it to right. get another one. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, from uh, students from uh yeah. group uh Dr. Lam Pao Chung. Uh, okay. Um, sh shall we move to to the next um group, which is from Doctor Inzats? Are you sharing the screen? Uh, I am trying to. All right. Oh, can I finish my interview? Okay, are you able to see my screen? Yes. yes. Hello from the other side. Okay. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, very clear. Okay, so I will start my presentation again. So, hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Yasmin Shahmina. I will be the representative for um, Dr. Izzat's work base. So, this is our design proposal for the exhibition and display. And together with me are my uh, colleague and teammate uh, who work together for the proposal. We have designing team, technical team, uh, 3D team, and also production team. Okay, I am in the designer team. Okay, so introducing to you, find your pixel. This is our uh, design proposal. So find your pixel is a colorful and attractive modular exhibition display in collaboration with LifeSight and UEM. Okay. So the goal of our design is to create a multifunction exhibition display that can be easily identified by the users um, from far and near. So we will try to uh, attract with these colorful colors. Okay, so for the ideation, uh, actually we are inspired by UEM's slogan, uh, UEM Sunrise slogan, which is find your happy 
and in the tagline, they actually have a few elements uh, of uh, happiness, which is um, first is uh, signifying belief, second is resilience, journey and optimism. This is from UAM slogan. So what else have four uh, sites? That is um, a pixel. So this becomes our concept, find your pixel. Okay, so pixel is the basic component of our exhibition display. And this pixel is modular and a movable component, which enables user to create their own uh, element of happiness. Like we mentioned, UEM have their own uh, element of happiness. And for our uh, exhibition display, we let users um, to assemble the pixels according uh, to their likings. Okay, so as you can see here, there are these are the um, pixels, and actually the colors also is um, inspired from UEM's corporate color, which is uh, hot pink, pink, blue, and turquoise. Okay, so for our design objective. We intend to design an interactive uh, pixel uh, display with push and pull movement, uh, some extrusion on our design and personalization option. Uh, and it is a modular design that can be personalized and easy to assemble, um, something like a logo, uh, Lego, sorry. We are able to push and pull the pixels uh, from the structure. And also, we want to highlight about the multifunctional and um, the design's flexibility and how we let people to be interactive with our design. So how we um, create that, these are some of the scenarios um, we predict uh, for our design. So the first scenario is for commercial users. So uh, for example, uh, is Starbucks seasonal display. So they can use our exhibition uh, and assemble the pixels to their likings. Uh, for example, um, we created the SB um, letters to uh, resemble Starbucks, and also the pixels can be turned into shelves to sh display their merchandise. And this is actually, in the center is an LED um, screen display. So there will be advertisement um, promoting here. And the second scenario, it can also be used for corporate use, um, to, for example, like UEM itself, they can also use the exhibition display uh, uh, display to to show their merchandise and promote their um, um, projects, um, for example. And also the last scenario is for institutional use. They can also um, utilize this exhibition um, as well to promote their, their things. Huh? Uh, for example, this one, we are promoting EduCity, and this is UTM, um, UTM, okay, UTM's merchandise, which is, which are displayed. So, um, as you can see, actually, the, the arrangement of the pixels are very randomized. Like we mentioned in our design objective, it can be anything, okay, to the user's liking. Okay. These are some of the perspective. Uh, along Marina Walk. Okay. So we move uh, to the technical uh, drawings. So firstly, this is the uh, front elevation of our exhibition display. So the total height of the exhibition itself is roughly 2.7 and also the width is 3.5. Okay, so the structure that we use is a very uh, simple structure, like a skeletal um, structure uh, using um, 25 millimeter by 25 RHS. And we also have the pixel box um, to our detail. Um, we have a um, few types of pixel boxes. We will talk about that later. And also we have the dis uh, LED display, like I mentioned. And then uh, we, are applying um, light set materials at the base and also for our boxes. Okay, so these are our pixel unit types. We have three types of pixel unit. First one is hollow, the second one is a drawer type, and third one is a solid box. 
So the dimensions are as such 145 to 350, 145 to 400, and also 145 to 500. Each of the type have um, similar sizes, just uh, different um, details. Okay, so for drawers, um, we can use this to put um, brochures um, and as well as the the hollows as well. Okay, so um, about the different sizes of the pixie units, we can create the extrusion, uh, extruded look, look lah. From this is the first plan. Okay, we uh, we covered the top one with a uh, lyset uh, panel, and then this is the again the pixel box, and also this is the base. The second plan uh, is showing uh, the section in middle to show how the LED is sitting in between the pixels. It's very um, simple and boxy structure. Okay, this is the side elevation and also section XX. Okay, so this is the Lysat product that we have chosen, which is Lysat X Verge Steel. And we are um, applying this um, product for our pixel unit. Okay, we are taking the seamless um, portion of the panel um, to create the box. Like this, this is a continuous folding. Um, from the catalog, it says that it is six meter. It has a six meter length from factory. So we are using that to have uh, to create the folding into box. And this is the termination detail. We are using rivet. And for safety issue, we chamfered the corners uh, for the edges. So all of these um, boxes will be used. Um, we will use the paneling to create these boxes. Huh? All these are Lysa products. Okay, so next we will continue to the technical detail. So the first one is on the front frame connection detail. We are, like I mentioned, we are using a rectangular hollow section for the overall skeletal frame. And then this is a flat metal plate at the void section where there is no um, pixel box um, and for the connection we are using a flat metal plate to connect each RHS and sorry the next one is uh, for the detail from the side elevation how the pixels are rest oh, okay. Okay. rest on top so we have an L plate to support the site um, RHS, only uh, OLP, right? Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, the next one is the red connection detail. Uh, this is for the corner uh, connection. We are using a corner brace melter plate. Very simple structure. And this is the corner um, connection detail. Also another L flat um, metal plate and a corner brace metal plate to connect the RHS again. So this is for the uh, inside of the uh, structure. Um, uh, the grid is actually 300 to 300. So in between the box is like I mentioned 145 uh, to one four five. So um, each of this, what you call, uh, the holder, uh, the holder is where the pixel will be uh, One pixel box, one pixel box, one pixel box, and another pixel box. So this is the detail for the holder of the pixel box. Just only a um, steel plate that is uh, connected by. By tanggam. Okay, lastly is the sliding detail. Like we mentioned, we have some um, push and pull um, things happening uh, in our exhibition. So 
this is a finger edge pull conceal handling um, for users to be able to push uh, and pull the box to take out the brochures and everything. Okay, I guess I guess that's all for the presentation. We can proceed to the input I guess, uh, feedback. Okay. Hmm. Um, thank you. Uh, I already put my attention to your design. Uh, one problem with me is if I'm using, in, if I'm touching the x watch panel to pull out the box, would, 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 it, be, would it be very hot? It will be very hot. Yeah. So how how am I if if I am the user, how am I going to pull that? Because that's the main problem that I, I won't touch it because I know it is metal and metal will absorb absorb heat very fast. Uh, would you uh, mind to change the handle to other product or other material? Because there's, there's no, I think there's no issue for that. Okay, we can just uh, please uh, for uh, users' comfort. Yeah, because it's for sure with your exposed uh, display unit. Okay, uh, easily this material will will absorb the heat very fast. And uh. Why you choose your structure using mild steel? steel? You are going to use a hollow, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, the hollow will be fabricated using what kind of material? The main structure. Uh, uh, steel RHS. CRH, RHS, so it is uh, uh, mild steel, right? Oh, yes, true. Yes. So, uh, why you choose both steels uh, instead using cold form C channel? Uh, hello. Okay. Yep. Uh, for that question, uh, uh, we just wanted to uh, using steel for our main structures. Mm -hmm. Any reason for that? Um, uh, because uh, at first we actually uh, we consider the C channel, but uh, the design not uh, feel seamless, so we change the whole structure to the RSS uh, structure to make it feel more seamless and firm. Uh, so, what you con? What is your concern actually? The stability, the strength of the material. Yes, and, so, and also the looks of the the overall design. Okay, uh, the look of the design. Okay, we, by using cold foam, you can achieve your desired looks. Yes, desired design. We actually already considered consider the channel from. Okay, all right, no problem. Uh, and then, uh, so these boxes, these boxes can be taken away. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, it, it can be like push and pull to the, to the, uh, the design of the owner. Okay. What happened if I just, uh, take it away? Take one of the boxes. I think we change our concept to find our pixel. Boleh jual tau the box tu. Metal mahal. Sekarang lima 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 ribu petan. So like uh, we have considered some of the safety issues, but since um by doing that we will need 
more structure to hold it which will lead it to being more complicated for it because we aim for it to be more easier to assemble okay that's one of the but it is considered for the safety issue okay so who who under who the the maintenance uh the the maintenance scope later on is it under UEM to make sure if i uh, being taken away and to be replaced yes anyone by but uh one of our opinion one of our point of view that uh the exhibition is actually a temporary exhibition so there will be someone who actually will be there all the time so maybe the risk is below schedule mm -hmm. maybe. Yeah, hello uh we, we're actually like uh, thinking of the exhibition is a, a temporary exhibition so there will be someone who actually will be there most of the time so the to, to monitor the exhibition uh. so uh, the risk of it being taken away is like lower and less if much um, uh, starbucks uh, having the exhibition so there will be starbucks staff to monitor the exhibition all the time so it's not permanent yes hmm. okay okay tapi kalau saya klien, saya mesti nak yang long term punya kan. And minimize my cost. It's okay. Uh, tak apa, uh, just... Uh, maybe... Uh, uh. Uh, sorry, uh, maybe like we can consider the... There will be a uh, stop at the... The slide at the, 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 the slide the detail. There will be a stop at that will... So, hold you the, from, take it away. Yeah. Yes. The, the whole The whole set. Kan? Maybe you just add yeah. some stopper, the lock ke apa. Yeah, maybe the, um, maybe the extrusion can still happen but not pulling all that away. Ah, okay. Yes. Macam okay. just enough for laci buka, right? Yes. There is a stopper. So yes. only to that extent. So we don't uh, let people to take it away. Yes. So maybe we need to refine the detail on the slider actually. That's the answer I'm waiting for. Yes. <laughs> okay, and then uh, your elevation drawing here, front elevation showing that lights up is wedged for steel base only. Uh, sorry. Uh, your front elevation that you are showing now, you have lights up is wedged steel base. Yes. And the bottom part. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, what about the base? Yeah, you're only using this as well for the base? Uh, it's actually a conceal um, structure. Uh, the Lysa is part of the structure for the base. So the base will be um no not okay. uh, so the base is uh, so basically uh the the view is from the plan which is we put the light set material on top of the base for the light set X which not uh, on the sides not so on the you, elevation you that is just to indicate. That we use uh, let's say x switch all right so means you will cover the entire ground area with a switch uh yes yes because okay. the x switch has a connection a, a seamless connection so i think that it is appropriate to use it like that all right so people will stand on that area right on the s uh, no it's it's not to be stand up, step on. Okay. It's more for it to hold the structure on top. If I'm, yeah, okay. What is your your arm length? So is it reachable if I stand One out meter. of that? 
And how about kids? A and no way, that you, no way that you can prevent people from stepping on the ground area. Uh, so I suggest for you to might be to consider different materials. So because uh, it's much uh, very, uh, it's very flat. So I see. If, uh, so if a rainy season, if ada air kan, so mm. it chain. Okay, so I'm not. Uh, I I think you need to reconsider your your base material. All right. Okay. Hmm. Memang you you want you you tak boleh nak avoid people from stepping on your ground area ni. True. Okay. Uh, dan macam mana you nak maintain nak bersihkan every time orang pijak bersihkan orang. Ah, uh, so. Okay, yang itu. Hmm. Rest. Tak ada kot. Yang lain okey. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Oh. Nah, Sama lah dengan HH. You, you punya box HH tu lah. The sharp edges. Which one? Sub, uh, sharp edges. Ah, yeah. Our panel, uh, again, our panel is very, very thin. 0 0.35 so easily the the can the the risk injuries uh, risk is very big lah. Uh, for the boxes we actually already, already considered it will be a chamfer. Forty five degree. Forty five degree chamfer. Okay. Wait 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 wait. Ah okay. uh, for this one, the edges details like chamfer for the safety consideration. Should we consider to uh, just Oh, you are going it? to bend this, yeah? To make it box? I said I'm not bending. Uh, how, are you going, how are you going to fabricate this shape? By bending it? Okay, so then uh, what is the revert for? Uh, so the revert is for to terminate the endings of the pizza box detail. Uh, pizza box, I mean. Uh, so we consider to use flash revert, which will be, which will not uh, disrupt the flow of the drawer. So it'll be smoothly when pulled. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Mm, but I think the the lapping area uh, is not sufficient. Just ngam ngam. I think you need to enlarge it a bit. I see. Okay. We need to right. enlarge it a bit. Okay. Okay, the... for, the, for the entire box, we'll be using as words. Can you consider, because we, we have a lot of profiles, can you consider maybe few profiles instead of one profile only to be your box? Your business? Okay. Uh, yes, we, because we want to achieve that seamless look, so we only look for a profile that have a uh, uh, a panel that have seamless profile. Okay, okay. So you already have your scope. Okay. All right. Okay, that's it for me. All right. Um, thank you, right. Ms. Suraya. Uh, thank you, uh, thank you team Dr. Thank Izzat. you, Ms. Suraya. <laughs> okay. Um, I think we shall move to the last um, group, uh, which is uh, from Dr. Dory's group. You may share your screen once you're ready. All right. Um, can everybody see my screen? 
Not yet. I only see black here. Not sure about the others. Madam Suraya, did you manage to see Fikri's screen? White screen. Oh, white. Okay. Can you try again? Is the screen uh, showing anything or is it still loaded? Yes, I can see it now. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, and good afternoon to uh, the honored selected panel, uh, Madam Suraya, and also um, expected lectures, and as well as my fellow friends. So first and foremost, I like to thank for uh, your and input throughout the project, and I also like to credit my and Workbase Five for their hard work and dedication throughout uh, designing this tool. All this is uh, achieved and possible due to their talent and countless sleepless nights. Uh, we create a deep dive educational book. So. Uh, the Deep Dive Exhibitional Booth is an experiential journey on both the interior and exterior parts of the booth. The interior will dive deep, dive into the depths of the sea, showing the topography of the ocean, flourishing with marine life and biodiversity, uh, displaying the rich aquaculture of Putri Harbour Bay and in juxtaposition, uh, and exposition, uh, displays the increasing amount of pollution uh, and plastic trash found on the ocean that's killing and destroying the aquatic beauty of the ocean. And the deep dive uh, exhibition booth is a contract uh, that is happening due to our pollution and, and raising a array of plastic with the help of to try to the booth. Oh, uh, we for, uh, mm, this I'm is sorry, is it my line or your line? Because I two parts of I think it's um Fikri's line. Because uh, I can't see anything and the voice is not uh, here. I think so. uh, Fikri, maybe you can yeah. just um switch uh, off your video, yeah. Fikri? Or probably you ask um, your members to share the screen. Oh, yeah. Uh, is it clear now? Uh, is my watch clear? Still not clear. I think it's better um, now. Yeah. Better now. Uh, maybe uh, Aimee can help me. Uh, Share the screen while I explain. I mean, can you stop sharing the screen or? Uh, uh, that Um, can you see, I mean? Yep, I can see. Yeah. All right. Continue with the uh, uh, form ID. All right. So, um, after that, after the uh, by creating an experience uh, through the past, we create a juxtaposition. Uh, this is uh, uh, um, contrast between the 
my voice clear ah okay i'm using my friend's uh okay so uh on the front elevation you can see that uh, we prepared a space for the uh for for the display so here you can um there's opportunity for um for a poster displays for to show awareness for plastic pollution so uh, on the left uh, elevation, the next one there, you can see uh, the intricate layers uh, of each uh, individual uh, piece of the panel showing different depths of the ocean. So uh, moving next, we go to the next section, section A. So section A is where you can see the topography of the ocean showing the depths and uh, detail uh, detailed marine life and biodiversity on each uh, of the level. So on uh, the other side is the section B where you can see the detail of each layer. So when we look up at the exploded exonometry of the ocean floor cross section, so on the ocean floor cross section, uh, it is displayed on every uh, level uh, what type of marine uh, life is uh, uh, exists on each and every level. So this idea behind this uh, design is to raise a world public awareness for the ocean pollution problem. The ocean state is subpar, and despite uh, despite the despite the state of uh, can you zoom in more into the yeah okay despite the city being more uh, urbanized and contemporary, instead the instead should be getting better and match the ambience of the Putri Harbor. A uh, visitor can see how deep and intricately layered the ocean is by looking at the blue layers, while the red layer shows how much pollution has done to the water. People must take every effort to avoid harming the ocean. Uh, it is enormous and challenging for them to care for it with only their bodies. Uh, as they say, prevention is always preferable to the cure. The UEM logo, which employs uh, color layering, serves preparation for the layering. So uh, zoom out, we will go to the construction. So first, the horizontal steel brackets joint. Uh, each layer is made out of uh, 200 uh, by 300 mm laser perforated uh, panel cladding. And each layer is connected to each other via bolt and rod and vertically supported via a 20 by 20 C channel uh, stainless steel, which is connected to the layer with uh, metal and taps uh, slots. So we will uh, we'll look at the uh, configuration. So uh, the, the exhibition booth is uh, can be configured to different sets of arrangement to suit different uh, events. So it is a kind of a modular exhibition booth. So it is reusable for um, every, uh, different types of events. So making it um, uh, has making it have a lower carbon footprint. So so education wise, by having the booth placed in a configuration that shows the best view and best readability. It allows past buyers to learn and educate themselves on the ocean and pollution as they walk past or through the booth. So um, the experience wise, so uh, 
this allows the experience, the exhibition booth to have various and unique experience based on its many different configuration to suit any event, uh, space, human or capacity of the area. And also it's uh, recyclable. So um, due to it being uh, modular and saving costs, time and designing a new booth. So a new event can use the same booth, but have a different experience. So you can use the booth over and over again, but with different and different configuration. So now we'll be looking at the video animation. Can you replay? I guess that uh, that concludes my presentation. Sorry for uh, the technical difficulties. Uh, can you replay the video, please? I'll replay the video. Okay. That concludes uh, my presentation for deep dive. All right, thank you. Uh, I want to see your. You only have one uh, drawings for the construction drawings. You have only one session, maybe. Um. Uh, yes, because we are focusing on, uh, because for the construction, we focus on the jointings of the, of the, uh, exhibition booth. Okay. All right. So, get, uh, for your first horizontal steel bracket drawing. Okay. Will be as, just exposed like this or will cover up? Uh, the jointings. Yeah. Uh, the jointings will be exposed. Be exposed. Mm. Okay, I guess. Uh, maybe you can uh, uh, some cover. Okay. Yeah. Uh, channel and the signal operated mountain, but okay. Uh, who will do the perforated cladding? Uh, the perforated cladding, um, the holes can be uh, laser cut or 
uh, water jet into the panels that will be provided by Lisa. Oh, but we don't do the perforated. Oh, but we can uh, we can laser cut uh, the holes. Right. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you have that solution. Uh, I have to be uh, you to be upfront that some, some even though we are manufacturer, some of the uh profiles we can do because our limitation, right? Uh, the machine limitation. Uh, and then. Okay. Why you want uh, this cladding to be perforated? Uh, because we have uh, LED lighting. So we would like that to uh, shine through uh, the panel, not only on the side, but also the, the front. So in order to attract uh, pass buyers and pedestrians towards the exhibition booth. So that is our one of our attracting features of the booth. All right, so it's mainly for the uh, the aesthetic. And also for functionality, because that area um, at night is quite dark and lots of people are passing by, uh, passing, passing by there using like uh, scooters and bicycles. So by placing this uh, exhibition booth, it also serves as um, functional lighting so people wouldn't bump into each, each other at night. Mm -hmm. All right. So, if I am the payment, just ordinary person to pass through this your display unit, how can I appreciate this? What you are trying to tell? So, uh, if you look at the configuration, the box uh, configuration. So, um, the below one, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, that one. So. Uh, when you pass through the um, through the exhibition booth, the left and right uh, of your view is uh, filled with the juxtaposition of the ocean floor and also the plastic pollution. So when you look to your left, you see uh, the beauty of ocean uh, ocean floor and the marine life. But when you look to the right, you see uh, how our pollution, uh, humans pollution, um, destroyed uh, those beauty. So when you go through this, it encap it, it um, surrounds you in this experience. So you are immersed into that uh, into that story of uh, uh, life and pollution. So all that info will be yeah. printed out on the wall. Uh, all that info will be uh, etched etched using laser cut into the interior of the exhibition. So. Uh, it'll be quite uh, versatile and also on the outside layer, uh, we can also uh, put posters or pictures of pollution so people can see both on the uh, interior of the exhibition booth and also the exterior of the exhibition booth. That's permanent and uh, temporary exhibition on both sides. Okay, uh, okay uh, can you zoom into the uh, your section BB or left elevation? Okay, uh, uh, how about section BB? All right, uh, have you figured out what is the, the gap in between? How, how you're going to support the panel? Uh, the panel is uh, vertically supported using uh, C channel, uh, C twenty by twenty mm C channel, stainless steel uh, C channel. Twenty. Uh, twenty by twenty mm. Twenty by twenty mm C channel. So that might be a bit small, but it's also horizontally supported by a uh, bolt and rod. So that will provide the with uh, the horizontal horizontal uh, structure support. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you were saying that you are going to use twenty by twenty mm. C uh, C channel. C channel. Yeah. Uh, I think you have to change uh, the size uh, the size because we don't produce the the channel with that size. Mm -hmm. uh, 
So, and uh, I believe that this, uh, your section BB, you have your vertical member here. Okay, yeah. all, all these vertical members are going to use C channel. Uh, yes, C channel. Okay. C channel. So, uh, the, the one that you, you were saying that you are going to use 20 by 20 just now. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so uh, uh, I suggest to change this to 75. 75? Yeah, or 700, mm -hmm. but uh, on your, how big your panel is, so whether the C75 with the spacing of C -chan, the, the spacing of each uh, C section able to hold your panel, because your panel quite big, you have variation of panel sizes right here uh yeah yeah so we have to check it and uh you have this section bb only but you don't have the other section so that you can see what is your uh other i i can't see your your panels or your c section arrangement actually uh, I guess if we look at above, yeah, you can see that on the right one. Okay, but this is for which size? Because you have a few, each layer, you have different uh, panels, sizes. Uh, this, uh, there's uh, various uh, of this C channel, so uh, each panel, uh, they are custom made to each um, vertical C channel. Okay. So, what is the spacing of the C channel? The spacing like between each panel. Is it? Yeah. Uh, no, no. Each uh, C channel is your backing, right? Yeah. Okay. So, what is the spacing of that C channel? uh it is between each uh, c channel uh, there is a distance between 300 mm 300 so it's quite uh closely arranged so uh all that the load will transfer to that c channel okay where can i see that at 300 uh, on the floor plan. The floor plan. Uh, it's okay. Never mind. So means that uh, there's no details on that only lah. Yeah. Yet. You just need to extract it from your design. Okay. Yeah. Um, excuse right. me. Can so, I? Uh, can I say something? Yes. Um, actually, on the section AA, um, shows the, the, AA. the spacing between the panels. Section AA. Where is section A? Um, I need to go at section AA. Section. Yeah. This is section A. Ah, um, basically, we're cutting it on um three hundred on eight um on every on the panels as you can see there's um each line each vertical line there uh, there's actually 300 mm so you are following the 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 width of as much the panel itself 300 uh, excuse me ah uh, yeah uh, we're actually following the space um for the panels that um that were given um for 300 mm so we're using the structure of the vertical for 300 mm also. What type, what type of profile that you are using for this project? Also is much or different profiles? Um, it's just the same profile. Um, we're using the perforated one, but um, it's the, the size are still the same. Just the edges is a bit different. Mm. 
Okay, because uh, like uh, your colleague uh, in group four, okay, they specified that they are using as verge. So as verge panel, we can have in 300 panels. That's why uh, I'm wondering if you are using the same profile. Or you just use the flat sheet and then you make your own profile by uh by impose the imposing the uh, operated. I mean like on the other like the straight one um is actually just the flat sheet um but on the edges that that have the wavelength uh that's actually a custom one. Hmm. All right. Oh, here your C channel is not twenty by twenty. It is two hundred by two hundred mm. Okay. Two twenty by twenty mm C channel stainless steel. But uh, okay. Go to the A. So how many channel you are using? 100 by 200. And then here you have another, let's see. You have 20 by 20. So few sizes you are using. Uh, yes. Right. Okay. So, there are no more questions. Just I hope that you can try to standardize your C channel so that you can minimize uh the materials and to avoid the confusion. Just like uh what I experience here. Okay, you have 200 by 200, you have 20 by 20. If uh, you are going to assign someone to install it, how are you going to identify or how the installer identify which part to be used at which area? All right, and maybe your, maybe you need more, uh, more details on your drawing, construction drawings. Okay, some of the dimension, the, uh, the important dimension to me, okay, when I read your drawing, okay, I, I need to understand what is your width, what, what is your uh, support, okay, as, uh, as an engineer, uh, as an engineer, I need to know whether the structure can hold your components or not, your materials or not. So I think uh, you need to have a uh, more, it's, it's not that your presentation is not good, just you're missing some important, uh, important dimension here. Okay. Right? Yeah, I understand. Okay, that's it for me. All right, thank you. All right. Um, thank you very much, Madam Suraya, and also um, students from uh, Dr. Dory's group. And um, yeah, I think that's all the presentation that we have today. Um, and again, I would like to thank um, very much for all the presentation by the students and also to Madam Suraya for all the input and feedback. I think uh, we learn a lot today and get uh, we get a lot of input from you. And um, I also hope that the students will take into consideration all the aspects highlighted by uh, Madam Suraya um, in your design proposals as well as um, design development later. Um, before we end the session, Madam Suraya, um, would you like to share some advice or conclusion of all the designs presented by the students today? Uh, first of all, um, good job to everyone, uh, to lecturers. All right. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think um, uh, 
and I'm so sorry because at the earlier stage I mistaken with the other group. No problem. Uh, okay. Uh, so if you need any advice, uh, please, uh, you may, uh, you are welcome to, uh, to text me or to email me, right? Uh, but don't don't call me. <laughs> don't call me because, uh, I have to take sometimes to, uh, to to respond to your questions, right? Um, and uh. First thing that we need to consider, either as a we in designing anything, please put yourself as a uh the the end user, right? Uh, uh in terms of safety is number one. Uh, and then uh, to me, whatever you do, the the safety comes first, and then uh how comfortable you are as an user to use whatever you design and uh, any design that you are uh, try to uh, to contribute to the community please uh, make sure that uh, you your design can benefit uh, can benefit uh, everyone don't uh, don't to be biased all right uh and please respect the environment as well right um i think that's it for me uh again well done that's it thank you all right um thank you madam soraya i think it's a very good um reminder for the students and i am totally uh, agree with all the advice given by you um so students please take note on that and um, yeah, before we end the session, um, I think we should take some photos um, uh, to just to remember this event and uh, the session. If um, you don't mind to switch on the camera, students. Ah, oh, they're already ready uh, with this hardship. <laughs> Sekejap eh, kita tunggu yang lain-lain sekejap. Empat sikat rambut sekejap. <laughs> okay, are you guys ready? Smile. One, two, three. Right, another one. Okay, one, two, three. All right, thank you very much. And um, yeah, with that, uh, we have, um, unfortunately, we have come to the end of the session. And again, um, I would like to thank you uh, very much, Madam Suraya, for your interesting and insightful feedback. Uh, to the students. It was a pleasure to have you uh, with us today. Um, Inshallah, we uh, look forward to seeing you again in the next session tomorrow, Madam Shraya. Thank you very much. All right. Have a good Madam day Shraya. and goodbye. Thank you very now. much. Kirin salam, Dr. Elis. Inshallah. All right. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Thank Isura. you, Madam, for your input. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Madam. Thank you. Madam. Thank you. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Wow, I don't. Some bad promo. Okay, bye bye everyone. Yeah, bye bye. Bye. Is that clear? Is that clear?